Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Diecast. And today I'm going to be reviewing for the first time ever on my channel a Diecast Koenigsegg. This right here is a 132 scale Koenigsegg CCX. And the funny thing about Koenigsegg is that in the world of Diecast, this remains one of the most elusive manufacturers ever. Because for some reason, Koenigsegg have only given their license to AutoArt, FrontiArt, SophieArt, and perhaps MR. There is literally no budget manufacturer that makes Koenigseggs until the last year when De Agostini started a supercar series where they also brought out the 1 to 1 and the Regera in 143 scale. But for many, many years, the only officially licensed manufacturers available were the high end ones. And so it was impossible to get a budget diecast Koenigsegg until Chinese manufacturers decided to bring out unlicensed Koenigseggs via AliExpress. And that's actually how I ended up with this little model here. So this is a 132 scale, fully opening Koenigsegg CCX. And I purchased this model sometime in 2016 or 2017, when I was ordering from AliExpress in China. And I think this model cost me about 16 or $17 plus shipping. And this was literally the first Koenigsegg that I purchased. So there is a special place for this model in my collection, even if it isn't an official one. But let's talk a little bit about the Koenigsegg CCX, because this particular car was Christian von Koenigsegg's first attempt to make a car that he could sell anywhere in the world, especially in the US market. So what he did was he made several changes to the CCR, which used to be the CCX's predecessor. And the CCX ended up being not just the first car with which Koenigsegg entered the global stage, but also the first one with an in-house engine, because the CCR still had the Ford Modular V8. CC, as the diehard Koenigsegg fans will know, stands for Competition Coupe, and the X stands for the Roman 10. Because this car came out exactly 10 years after the first Koenigsegg prototype was completed in 1996. So between 2006 and 2010, 49 were made in total, nine of them being CCXRs. And when this came out, it was reasonably priced at around 550,000 euros, which was around the same price as a McLaren SLR, but with way more horsepower. So let's take a closer look at what details this 132 scale model has to offer. So taking a look at the front of the Koenigsegg CCX in 132 scale, I feel like they did a reasonable job here. Because if you take a closer look at the headlights, you can see that they are big and they look quite a lot like the headlights of the real Koenigsegg CCX. I mean, even though this is a cheap, unlicensed AliExpress China model, it really does not look toyish when it comes to the headlights. You do have two transparent pegs on each headlight, and then there's also an additional bulb, which is not supposed to be there, which is the one in the middle, um, but that is required for the light and sound function of this car, because this car has actual LED headlights that are powered by a battery. On the hood itself, you have an orange Koenigsegg crest, although it doesn't have a lot of details, but at least it's there. And below we have the NO602 license plate, which 
doesn't make any sense. And flanking the license plate are two fog lamps, as well as a grill, which is painted entirely in silver and therefore very unrealistic. But considering that the rest of the car is in black, it sort of helps the whole thing stand out a little more. We then have another grill at the very bottom, and this is also completely painted in silver. And then we have the front splitter. Oh, and the hood also has a hood scoop. And while we're here at the front, let's just open up the hood, which opens up this way. Now, this looks cool, but this is not how the front trunk opens in real life. Because on the real Koenigsegg CCX, the entire front body panel lifts up, including the headlight housings. Anyway, taking a closer look inside, um, you can see that we just have like a silver painted bump on the interior, which is totally not how the hood looks like. But at least there's some difference here in terms of detail compared to the black car body. Let's close this up. And here's a look at the car's side profile. Very sleek, very dark. We do have the silver wheels as a nice contrast, though. So, um, the real Koenigsegg CCX has 11 spoke rims, while here we have 12 spokes. I guess the manufacturer didn't pay close attention to that odd number while recreating these. We also have this traditional side scoop here that leads into these air intakes here that have been painted in silver. And this particular scoop is actually something that you will also see on subsequent Koenigsegg models, like the Agera or even the Regera. And I believe it was also there on the predecessor, the CC8S. Anyway, it says here CCX, the X is in red, and the CC is in silver. Now, on the other side of the car, we have the fuel filler cap, which has been painted in silver. Although, on the real CCX, it sits a bit higher, like between here. This model does have side view mirrors, although they just sit on the door and don't have any stocks but the real CCX does. And now moving to check out the back of the Koenigsegg CCX. You can see that the back has a little more detail because we have these iconic triple tail lights on either side. The rear grille mesh has been painted in silver, which is again this typical method that they have employed on this diecast car, but it doesn't really look very realistic. But I suppose it is there as a contrast to the black body color. We then have red brake lights. However, the exhaust has been painted in a silver trim, which I did. I mean, this was not there when the model was purchased. I did print out and paste a small Koenigsegg shield right there in the middle, which is a spot where you would have the crossbars meet on the real car and where a real Koenigsegg crest would have also been. But back here is where you would have a 4.7 liter, not twin turbocharged, but twin supercharged V8, generating 806 horsepower at 7,000 RPM, and a top speed of 395 kilometers per hour, while 0 to 100 kph acceleration took around 3.8 seconds to achieve. Now most of this engine was already painted this way. The only extra detail that I added was I painted that cap you see right there in silver, and I also painted the upper two crossbars in silver because they were just black while the lower two were painted in silver on the original model. And finally let's take a look at the interior of the Koenigsegg CCX. But before we do, check out how these doors open. This is pretty much the coolest feature on this model because you'd never expect a fully working dihedral synchrohelix door opening mechanism on a 132 scale China model. And yeah, the doors are a little loose, but once you have them open like this, it allows for some great posing. But now let's check out the interior. Again, this being a 132 scale China model, um, 
there isn't a whole lot of detail here. The biggest flaw is that the entire center console is missing. They just weren't bothered enough to add that, even though it is very iconic looking, with like a telephone dial type of center console button array. Like you can see here on the 118 AutoArt CCX. However, we do get the air vents. The center ones were already painted in silver, but the left and right ones were not, so I had to paint them in silver to make them look like the ones in the center. And then you also have this sort of silver dashboard trim, which was already there on the model. And you then have the shift knob in the middle, which I painted in silver. But the biggest difference that I did to the interior was that I painted these two seats, or I should say repainted them in this chestnut brown. Because when I purchased this model, they were beige. And that's a fine color, but it just doesn't look like the real seat color on the real Koenigsegg CCX, where it was more of a brown. And that's the reason why I had to repaint them. And I also added Koenigsegg crests on the headrests, which I think make all the difference. And now taking a look at the driver's side, you can again see a little bit of detail on the steering wheel there, although it does not have a Koenigsegg crest logo. And the instrument panel behind it is also not really visible. So all in all, it is a very bare bones interior, but at least it looks somewhat like the real Koenigsegg CCX's interior, with the exception of the center console that's missing. And finally, here's the bottom of the car. No details, really, except for the speaker for the engine sound, and some diffuser blades at the back, and of course, the 1.5 volt battery compartment that requires three button cells. But yeah, guys, I mean, this is the model. This was the first 132 scale Koenigsegg that I purchased that did not cost me an arm and a leg. And the fact that I got a fully opening diecast model is definitely something that makes me think this belongs in my collection and I do not regret this purchase. Also, I love the way that the doors stay up and open, that sort of dihedral synchrohelix style. It is a fully opening diecast model. It is bigger than 143 scale. What more do you want? So thanks again for checking out this review. And I hope it helped you out, and I'll see you in the next episode of Imperial Diecast. Take care.